Police in Gloucester County got their man, 47-year-old Sean Lennon, was arrested in Missouri for several murders in New Mexico and Gloucester County. Authorities encourage anyone with information regarding this crime to call Sergeant Petrosky at the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office, 856-498-6238. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is under both federal and state investigation for allegedly covering up the number of deaths at New York's nursing homes. And the leading Republican candidate for governor in New Jersey says Governor Phil Murphy should be investigated too. Here's my interview with former Assemblyman Jack Cittarelli. Assemblyman, as always, thanks for joining us. Uh, I want to talk about um, your current, I, I think I'm fair in calling it a campaign against the Murphy administration. It seems like you were trying to link him to the Cuomo administration and the failings that were made in New York. You believe those same failings were made in New Jersey? Well, New Jersey leads the nation in, in uh, COVID deaths on a per capita basis. We lead the nation in nursing home deaths. And all along, throughout the early stages of the pandemic, Larry, Murphy said he was in lockstep uh, with Cuomo. So I've submitted Oprah request. I'd like to see, I think New Jersey deserves to see, all the communications that took place between the two administrations, the Cuomo administration and the Murphy administration, specific to nursing homes. Let's let the sun shine in. So you have no proof right now. You just want to know if there was any kind of coordination and how much we were following New York's lead. We want to see those communications. Here's what we do know. This governor with Executive Order 103 required nursing homes to take in COVID-19 patients, despite the fact that in the early stages of the pandemic, he didn't treat nursing homes like hospitals. He didn't get them PPEs. He didn't get them test kits. And we know of emails that took place as late as March 28th that said, don't even bother wearing masks. So we want to see these communications. Um, there's a lot of things that are going on that are very concerning, including recently him putting new leadership in place that really isn't new. One of the people was one of the people who was in charge back when the pandemic hit last year. And even Democrats in the legislature have expressed their disappointment at the people that are now running the nursing homes. And let's be clear, we're talking about the nursing homes owned and operated by the state. I want to get to that. I, we talked to Sue Livio, from, who was an investigative contributor to a piece that NJ.com did, and we asked specifically about the connection between Cuomo and uh, Murphy and, and if they did the same thing. And their investigation found that when it came to private nursing homes, they were not the same, that in, in New York, they were forcing it through. In New Jersey, they gave nursing homes the option, and they say they claim that their investigation found that there were no, early on, six weeks into it, they weren't giving the numbers for nursing homes, but then they started to, to release those numbers. So they say that there's, there's not a connection. They claim there's not a connection. Your reaction to that? We'll find out once the information is disclosed whether or not it was optional. But at the same time, Larry, this is what we do know. The Murphy administration told co privately owned nursing homes they could not deny a COVID-19 COVID patient being readmitted. Again, in their investigation, they said that they, were, they didn't have to take them if they couldn't isolate them. However, in that same investigation, it was very damning about the way the state handled the three veterans homes that are state run, saying there was absolute chaos. They were understaffed. They couldn't get PPE. They thought the NJ.com investigators thought that was the bigger story. Well, there certainly is a big story there because again, they're state owned and operated and Murphy keeps making it sound as though everything that took, everything that went wrong took place in the private nursing home. So yeah, we're gonna put the spotlight over the state owned and operated facilities. It, it is strange that there hasn't been investigations. You would think that it would just be prudent to do so just to find out what you could do better in the next time, even if you weren't going after anyone. And I remember I had a conversation on this show with President Steve Sweeney, he said, there must be investigations. We made a mistake early on. We need to take a look at that. And then they just disappeared. Do you know what happened? Uh, I don't know what happened other than it is an election year with the governor and all 120 seats in the state legislature up for election, Larry. But keep this in mind. In Bridgegate, nobody died. And yet the Democrats held investigational hearings with subpoena power. Right. I know in the Republicans. Case, people, in this case, people died. And we're not going to have hearings? Well, the we're Republicans not going to grant those 
I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I know the Republicans are trying to hold hearings, but it's without subpoena power. So it's it doesn't have the same uh, effect as having full hearings in Trenton. I do wanna ask you about some attacks that are being made on you by the Murphy administration. By the way, congratulations for that, because obviously they see you as the as the person to beat. But the, the attacks recently are that you attended a rally, a Stop the Steal rally in Bedminster, and you spoke there. And they believe that they, they, they tie that rally to what happened in Washington on January 6th. In fairness to me, I was invited personally by the organizer of that event he told me at the time of that personal invitation, which took place over the phone, it was a 121 rally. 121 meaning the governorship and all 120 seats in the state legislature. If he had told me it was a stop the steal rally, I would not have attended. I don't think those were good for the nation. Joe Biden's our legitimate president. Did you get an inclination of what it was while you were there? I did not because I was there very early on and I left only a half hour into the event. I understand that it did turn into something else later on when a great many more people showed up and it turned into a Stop the Steal rally. Thank you always for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Larry. Republican candidate for governor, Jack Cittarelli. Still to come on Jersey Matters, great news for high school athletes in New Jersey. Spring sports is a go. We'll have details next.